Hi, Mom. Hi, Johnny. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. How's Dad? Papa is strong. How are you? She's fine, Mom. I'm actually going to meet her now. We have a lunch date. But when are you bringing her home? <sighs> Mom, I told you it's too soon for her to come home. We need to see her now. Uh-uh. We've only been dating for three months. It's too soon to get on a plane for 18 hours back to Africa. Okay. Mom, I promise you, she's... <laughs> She's incredible. She's phenomenal. She's God-fearing. She's beautiful. She's funny. She's so much fun to be with. Yeah, like our sister's back home. Hey. Actually, the bishop set us up. Bishop? And then we started talking, going out. We've been a couple ever since. Oh, wow. That's nice. You know what, Mom? Today I'm going to pop the question. Correct. Mm. And she's not going to be expecting it because she called the meeting. Actually, Mom, okay, we're pulling up now. I'm going to call you back. Okay, okay, okay. Call me back or call me back. I want to hear the story. Love you. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye. You know what, Tony? Drop me off here and go somewhere fun. I'm going to take my time. Okay, sure, thanks. I am who I am. I grew up as the dreamer, just like Joseph. Discovered who I was born to be all by myself. Was a little boy with no little dream. Didn't need a toy and care for ice cream. While others were busy watching Michael Jackson, I was trying to figure who the heck was behind him. Yeah, that's a CEO's man. Better recognize I'm one of my prince. You are early. Early? I'm never late for business. But for you, I should do better. May I? You may. So what's going on? No customers? Uh, yeah. I wanted it to be a little bit more private. Private? We always have privacy here. Besides, this is a business. True, but it's mine. I decided it was more important. Okay. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna have your usual? Yeah, sure, but if something's bothering you... Now's the time to get it off your chest. Okay. Well, I have been struggling with something for a while now. Something that I can no longer carry any further. Honey, it's okay. You can tell me anything. As long as you're not breaking up with me. Jeez, Michelle, are you seeing someone else? No! How dare you think that of me? Okay, baby, calm down. If it's not that, then it can't be that bad. Nothing we can work through together. I'm pregnant. I, I don't understand. You've never been with a man, isn't that what you told me? I for sure never laid my hands on you. Forgive me for not understanding what you're saying to me. You see what I cleared the place? You calm down, you're shouting. So let me explain. This man, he came into my restaurant. He, he was a real gentleman. Wait, wait. Just hear me out. I wish I could get rid of the baby, but I can't. He warned me not to. Are you seeing this gentleman? Oh my God. No, I am not, John. So, you're not cheating on me, but you are pregnant and you are keeping this baby. It's not his baby. So there's someone else. No, can you just shut up and listen? I am listening, but you're not making any sense. Okay, honey, I'm sorry. Hold my hand. What? Hold my hand. This is not the first time this has happened. What? Not to me. It first happened to Mary in the Bible. She was a, she was a virgin, wasn't she? What does that have to do with this? Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Besides, that was Jesus, the king. This is... I'm sorry. I... I cannot accept another man's baby. It's not another man's baby is what I'm trying to tell you. Tell me what? How, how does it sound to your ears? Okay, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't call him a man. He... I guess he... I guess he was an angel. He said, he is my doctor. And then he just kept talking and, and all I could do was listen. I froze. 
He said, I am pregnant with a child and that I shouldn't even go to a doctor. Man, not even for the delivery. Doctor, that he would be there to deliver the baby. He said, contrary to what we believe, this, this is how Jesus makes his return. And that when he is of age, it will be up to him to gather his people. And that it is our duty to protect and raise him. <laughs> okay, Michelle. So a man walks in here, tells you something that you believe, and you freeze. I'm assuming you've not even seen a doctor to test if you're actually pregnant? I, how could I? He warned me not to. <laughs> Honey, you're not pregnant. But I did do several tests of my own. It's not funny. I can't be your Joseph. My mother wants a real grandchild. You're gonna see a real doctor. And if you're pregnant, a DNA test. And then a police investigation to find out who this guy is and exactly what he did to you. He really said that you would not believe. Of course he did. Jeez, he knew. You don't miss a lot of important business meetings for this. You're supposed to be smarter than this. Come on. Okay, I will let it go. But only if you confirm that what he said about you is not true. What? When you were younger, did you have a childhood dream about a girl who gave you a baby and then said that you were the father? He said that you would not believe me until I asked you this. Um, Tony, come and get me. Even my mother. It was embarrassing having to go for my dream, give the child to my parents. I felt responsible. I couldn't argue. I guess. I guess I froze too. And I guess that's that's why I decided to save myself from marriage. Side by side, we stand. 